Have you ever craved for an alternative to traditional fried chicken that is also crispy, juicy, and bursting with flavor? Well, let me present to you vegan fried chicken. Made with tofu, yet still maintaining its meaty texture and flavorsome spice, it's surely something you haven't tasted before. Hello and welcome to Cozy Meal Studios. Today we're making vegan fried chicken. And be ready to spice up your weeknight meals with this land-based cuisine bursting with flavor. But as always, before we begin, please be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and tap that notification bell. And of course, let's get cooking. First, line a baking tray with parchment paper and preheat your oven to 300 degrees so we can keep the tofu warm after frying later in our recipe. You will also need to set a wire rack onto a second baking tray to drain the vegan fried chicken. Now let's grab 450 grams of extra firm tofu and remove extra moisture by pressing it between several sheets of paper towels or a lint-free kitchen towel. Then tear the pressed tofu into six or eight chunks that are two to three bites in size. You should freeze and then thaw the tofu before doing this previous step so that you create a much meatier bite by changing its texture. This step is completely optional, but well worth your time. To prepare the vegan buttermilk, we'll have to add in a medium-sized bowl, half a cup of plant-based milk, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and half a teaspoon of sea salt. Then whisk those ingredients together using a spoon and set it aside. To prepare the coating, let's add inside a large bowl, two third cups of all-purpose flour, along with three tablespoons of cornstarch, one and a half teaspoon of sweet paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of sea salt. Whisk all those ingredients together until they've combined nicely. For a spicier vegan fried chicken, you can increase the amount of cayenne pepper, and if you'd like a gluten-free meal, you may replace the all-purpose flour with any one-to-one -one gluten-free flour blend. Let's now dunk each piece of tofu at a time into our vegan buttermilk, then in the prepared coating. Tap the pieces to remove extra flour and then transfer each coated piece to the parchment lined baking tray. Now, once the tofu has been coated, repeat the process once again, one piece at a time of dipping in the vegan buttermilk, then covering them with the coating a second time and transferring to the parchment lined tray until ready to fry. Using a heavy bottom pot, add enough vegetable oil to fully submerge several pieces of tofu. Be sure to use a high smoke point oil for the best frying experience. And do not overfill the pot as it may boil over when frying the tofu. Now over medium high heat, heat the oil to 350 degrees or until a wooden utensil gives off tiny bubbles when dipped in the oil. This is a great life hack to know if the oil is ready to be used. Fry three to four pieces of tofu at a time for four to five minutes or until golden brown. Please do not overcrowd the pot and be careful when frying as there may be some splatter happening once you dip the tofu pieces. No one likes this part because we all got those oil scars in our arms, right? But we can be more careful to reduce that pain. When the tofu is golden and crispy, Transfer it to the prepared wire rack and keep them warm in the oven while frying the remaining pieces in batches. Once all the tofu pieces are fried, serve them and enjoy. If you'd like to view all the steps again and read all our extra recommendations, be sure to check the description box or head to our website at cozymeal.com recipes to find more plant-based meals from cuisines of all over the world. Do not forget to leave a like on this video and share this recipe with your friends and family. Let's reduce meat consumption together with more plant-based meals full of flavor. We can do it. I believe in us. <laughs> so stupid. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again. Cook along with us in our next video recipe.